Beautiful sunrise, Phoenix, Arizona, and uh, the American flag waving. And this is a new housing track that's going up. And that is Giant Legos. Us in the ICF industry, we're always talking about, ah, it's stacking Legos. And so, uh, so we're gonna stack some Legos. Uh, these are Fox Blocks, six inch core. And it's going up uh, on a project on behalf of Special Olympics here, Arizona chapter. And look at these guys go. All right, it's eight o'clock and uh, four courses up, uh, around three quarters of that and uh, possibly five courses in some areas. Well, yeah, a lot of areas have five courses. time is it, Rod? 9.15. It is 9.15 a.m. I'm Rod Fetters with ICF Specialist. We're doing the Lego Like Home build out in a day. It's approximately 3,600 square foot livable. We're already up uh, five and six rows, starting to put our window bucks, uh, finishing up, squaring up those, and now putting our alignment system up, you know, our giraffe, and, uh, and then we'll just keep on stacking this out, probably be done hopefully by noon. <laughs> I'm Gary Fetters, the ICF Specialist, and today we're doing a uh, Lego-like house with insulated concrete forms. And right now I'm just ripping the top rippers to, give us, to get us right at 10 foot, uh, minus the top plate. So, uh, so when we're stacking ICF, we've got to take in, in uh, consideration the inch and a half top plate that's going to go on there. So when the framers come in here, their standard studs will, uh, will fit without having any you know, special modification to them. So we just uh, we take the block to the table saw, we set, we set the fence, we rip out the middle piece, and, um, and then we have two rippers for the top. Great thing about Fox Block, it's a fully reversible block, so we don't waste the entire other half of the block. We cut a ripper, we flip it in half, and then we get another ripper off the other side. So hey, it's uh, 10 o'clock. Well, I lied. 10-10. Uh, wanted to show uh, this stuff. So this is typical, traditional. This is your stick frame. Uh, this is the structural support for the building, although I'm wobbling back and forth. The main difference between this and is structurally sound, steel reinforced, insulated concrete walls is this. You can't do that over there because this would be solid concrete right here. And here, this is just a, cavity frame that's fraught with uh, mold, mildew, pests, rot, burns in fires, blows down in hurricanes and tornadoes, etc., etc. We all know about that. So that house over there is solid concrete walls with continuous rigid insulation, and that house is an hour later, they're within one course of the top. So 11.15 and uh, getting some interesting comments already today. The uh, freeway that you see in the backside over there, uh, getting some calls that people can see this project site from the freeway. The colorfulness of it is attracting some attention and uh, I got to tell you, I'm getting tired. Watching these guys work is uh, exhausting. specialist here. ICF stacked in one day from bottom to the top. 3,800 square feet and these are the last two blocks going on. Set them, set them. Last one block. <laughs> Uh, it's 2 o'clock, 
and the house is stacked. So uh, we're just uh, pretty proud of these guys and the uh, Lego block, the Special Olympics efforts, and we have had just a gob of people standing by, little newspaper activity, uh, and uh, just got done with kids too, stacking blocks, because uh, they can't stand it. They see these colorful Lego blocks going up. Anyway, a house in less than a day. That sun is still way up high. Uh, I think they should have went for two houses stacked in a day.